Hey. Uh, hey, who are you? Oh, I'm the fairy of discomfort. And I hear you've been a very good boy this year. What does that mean? It means I have a gift for you. <laughs> you ever think about how sound is just wiggly air that makes our brain feel things? For example, <clears throat> summertime ice cream, tomato soup with grilled cheese. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. <laughs> Notice how some of those made you feel things? Sometimes some of that wiggly air or textile feeling, it makes us suffer. And lately, I've been thinking about the ones that make me suffer. And I'm curious if these are normal. Like there was this one time I was unloading the dishwasher and I had made a mistake that I didn't think would be a mistake. Earlier, when I was choosing all the settings for the dishwasher, I put all the settings on max because that's what I always did. Which seems like it would make sense. If you want to clean your dishes, why not choose the setting that makes the dishes the cleanest, right? Apparently, doing it too much can change how your glass dishes feel. I went to put away one of the glasses and when I touched it, I felt such a discomfort that I let out an audible blech. The best way I can describe how it felt was squimchy. Like when you touch it, it feels like a squimch, which is obviously terrible. <coughs> it's like if glass was more grippy. This is what it sounds like, by the way. Has anybody else come across this? Do you know? Do you understand? Can you look into my heart and feel what I feel? In college, I had a roommate that would set up a ton of alarms that would go off every five minutes in the morning to wake him up for class. And it would go off for like an hour or so. Unfortunately for the guys who lived in the dorms next to us, I was the same way. So every morning it was like... <laughs> and so now, whenever I hear the iPhone alarm, I feel some kind of primal Fear is terrible. But the weird thing is, these days, I don't wake up to an alarm anymore. I wake up when my dog wakes me up. And how she wakes me up is she'll get into bed and she'll start wagging her tail. Uh, good morning. And you'd think that the same thing would happen. I would hate the sound of her tail, but I don't. I love it when she wags her tail because she's a cutie patootie. She deserves happiness at all times. What do you find uncomfortable? Is it nails on chalkboard or perhaps sponsorships? <laughs> no. Come here. What do you think VPN stands for? Vuvuzela Pringles Nourishment? No. NordVPN is a VPN which stands for Virtual Private Network. NordVPN has many features, such as being installable. Install it on any of your devices. You can have internet protection wherever you go. Protection from what, you may ask? Not me. <laughs> Don't need to worry about me. I'm not dangerous. <laughs> NordVPN protects you from things like malicious ads, malware, intrusive tracking, all things that are more dangerous than me. Use promo code Ice Cream Sandwich to get NordVPN's two-year plan plus four extra months for free. It's risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. Thanks, NordVPN, for sponsoring this video. I hate hair. If it's doing anything except for being on a head, terrible. In food, ugh. on my desk, <laughs> in my face, <laughs> but the worst is when. <sighs> The worst is when it's being pulled off a comb. Do you know that sound? Content warning, I'm about to play that sound. I think there should be some kind of invention that combs your hair without needing to comb your hair so that we won't have to have this horrible sound in our ears ever. Or everybody could just go bald and that would probably just solve a ton of problems. Maybe you can figure out why I hate this one. I don't know, but you know socks. It'd be kind of surprising if you didn't, but anyway. Socks, they keep your feet warm. They are the best in winter and can have fun little designs on them to make you look cool. But when you wear them in bed, I would not be able to sleep. I want them off. I would rather have no feet entirely. Why is that? Your feet are so far away from the core of your body, it would only make sense to keep them warmest when you want to be warm and cozy, which would be at night in bed. You know, after working out and you get really sweaty or not even working out, you just like, when you get really sweaty and then your shirt also gets extra sweaty and then somebody comes along and tries to hug you. Ugh. I don't even want my shirt to be touching me, let alone some other person when I'm sweaty. Don't touch me, don't touch me. I'm weak, I'm already weak and tired. Ugh. Would it be possible to liquid cool a person? Sure. Saying that out loud makes me seem really dumb. But like, if you take, you know, those gamer computers that have liquid cooling in them, could you do that with a shirt and then put that shirt on a person? I think that would be cool. <laughs>
I think one of the worst feelings in the world is at the dentist's office. You go in the dentist's office, you need your teeth cleaned, and they're like, hi, I'm here to help you. But then they crack out that little scratchy thing, and then they scratch your teeth. Ugh. Some of you may be asking, I can think of way worse things, such as what if this happened? Yeah, it is worse than that, okay? Anyway, that's about all. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go do a cozy thing as a palate cleanser.